In this video, we are going to learn more about sets. So, specifically on subsets, proper subsets, null set, universal set, and cardinality of set. So, again, when we say subset, a set A is said to be a subset of another set B if all the elements of A are contained in B. So, in symbols, that is, A, a subset of B. So, parang ang symbol ng subset yung parang elongated na C tapos may underline sa baba. Example, if set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and set B has the element 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then we say that A is a subset of B. Bakit? Kasi yung elements ni A na 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, ay nandito, 1, 2, 3, 4, nandito sa loob ng set B. So, therefore, we say that A is a subset of B. Next, proper subset. A proper subset denoted by parang elongated na C tapos wala na yung, wala na yung underline sa baba. Uh, which does not contain all the same elements of a set. Um, ito naman, subset ito, okay, dalawang set, ang isa, uh, subset siya ng, ng, ng isa pang set. Let's say, A is a subset of B, and si B, may sobrang elements na wala si A. Okay? Um, example, we have set A, 1, 2, 3, 4, and set B has the element 0 to 7. Notice that A has all, uh, A, elements ng A, ay andito lahat kay B. Pero si B, may mga elements din siya na wala kay A. So, therefore, may sobra siyang elements. Therefore, we say that A is a proper subset of B. Okay, proper subset of B. If A has the element 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and B has the element 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, di ba pareho lang silang elements? 0 to 7, 0 to 7. So, both set A and set B have the same elements, exactly the same elements. So, si B wala siyang sobrang elements, si A wala rin sobrang elements. So, then we say that A is not a proper subset of B. Not a proper subset. But we can say that A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A. Kasi pareho lang sila. Subset lang, hindi proper subset. Okay? Bakit ma'am subset? Subset, kasi tingnan nyo si A, lahat ng elements ni A ay andito kay B. So, subset siya ng B. A is a subset of B. Pero, si B, wala siyang extra element. Okay? Wala siyang sobrang element na wala kay A. Kasi exactly the same. So, therefore, we say that A is not a proper subset of B. Next, empty or null set. When we say empty, walang laman. Di ba? Pareho lang sa null set. Ibig sabihin, it is a set with no elements. Okay, no elements. Set A is the set of all, example, set A is the set of all even prime numbers between 10 and 20. Even prime numbers. Prime numbers, yung mga uh, walang other multiples. Example niyan, yung 11. Ang 10, hindi prime numbers. Kasi ang 10, um, multiples ng 10 ay 1, 2, di ba? 1 times 10, 2 times 5. Okay? So, 10 is not prime. Uh, prime numbers are 11, 13, um, 17, and 19. Kasi si 20, hindi din siya prime number. So, ang sabi, even. Ano ba yung even prime number dito? We have, uh, ang 11 hindi even. Add yan. Ang 13 hindi rin even. Add din yan. Ang 17, hindi rin siya even. Ang 19, hindi rin siya even. So, meron bang natira dun sa prime numbers? Ibig sabihin, wala. 
So therefore, set A is an empty set because there are no even prime numbers between 10 and 20. So we denote this set as A equals null set or empty set. Or pwede ring A equals yung zero tapos may slanting. So that's A is a null set or an empty set. Pariho lang ibig sabihin yan. Kung ito na ang ginamit mo, wag, mo, wag ka nang maglagay ng ganito. Kung ito na ang ginamit mo, wag mo lagyan ng ganito. Okay? Next, universal set. When we say universal set, it is the set containing all the objects or elements and of which all other sets are subsets. Okay? Denoted by capital letter U. So, universal set. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng... Uh, ng, ng elements ng mga set under consideration ay andun na sa universal set. Okay? Ibig sabihin, the universal set is the set of all sets under consideration. So, example, given that set A equals 1, 3, 5, 7 and set B equals 2, 4, 6, 8, they are subsets of universal set. Ex uh, then, we have the universal set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Saan galing yan? Of course, these are elements of set A and elements of set B. Pinagsama, then andito sila sa universal set. Okay? And of course, kapag uh, in the event na may pareho silang, uh, magkapareho silang elements, halimbawa, ito may uh, halimbawa lang, eto may 2. Eto may 2 din. So, para isang beses lang isulat dito si universal set. Kasi distinct, di ba? Distinct objects. Um, a set is a collection of distinct objects. So, dapat nag-iisa lang. Walang kapareho. Next, cardinality of a set. Cardinality of a set is just simply the number of elements in a set. Ilang elements ba mayroon sa isang set? So, we denote the cardinality of set A as this one. So, we write capital A and then yung may dalawang vertical lines. So, we read this as the cardinality of set A. Given that A has the elements or A is the set of 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Then, the cardinality of A equals 5. Bakit? Kasi there are 5 elements in this set. Ano yung mga elements? Ito sila ang mga elements. So, we count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, there are 5 elements. Therefore, the cardinality of set A is 5. Ano naman kaya ang cardinality ng null set? Okay, cardinality of an empty set. Dahil walang laman ang null set, so yung cardinality niya ay zero.